would you like some good quality anime merch? Well, you can get that from our sponsor today, YouTube for Halo, link in the description. And on your next $49 plus order, you get 5% off with the code MEME and $99 plus dollar order with code MEME for 10% off. Welcome back guys, this is King Weaves here, and this is what if Kakashi adopted Naruto part 2 Last time we left off with Naruto actually being left uh, to fight two Akatsuki members Which were Kisame and uh, Itachi and of course these two weren't gonna be easy But Naruto was ready for the worst, he was ready to die, he was ready to fight, he was ready to go all out And he wasn't gonna give them an easy time Of course Kisame then says so you either come with us by force or you come with us peacefully so we don't have to cause any commotion Naruto and we see Naruto's like I like the fighting one better I'm not the type of guy to give up easily and basically as soon as he says this Naruto then disappears from their vision but Kisame actually realizes where he's coming from of course Itachi knows but Naruto actually was attacking Kisame and Kisame was actually able to stop it of course uh, he stops it with Samahara and, and Naruto's uh, interesting, very interesting. Anywho, after this Naruto actually jumps backwards uh, into the hallway and takes Saki, well, <clears throat> then actually jumps onto the roof, breaks the roof and literally makes a clone and Saki is taken to, towards the village. Of course, during this time, uh, Guy was actually heading to the, towards uh, Naruto and Naruto's going top speed. Anywho. After this, uh, Naruto actually decides to actually make a few clones and they all attack it uh, well, Itachi and Kisame and all of them have the Sengons. It's basically like the fight against the uh, well, Naruto and uh, Sasuke in the Valley of the End, you know, their final fight. Yeah, something like that with Naruto having multiple Sengons and basically uh, Kisame being able to uh, destroy all of them. And uh, of course, Naruto actually comes behind the uh, well, <clears throat> Kisame out of nowhere he literally body flickers there and uh, he's ready he's actually ready to annihilate Kisame but of course uh, as he tries it uh, Kisame actually blocks the Rasengan and he gets absorbed Naruto was completely baffed and then he actually gets kicked by Itachi of course Itachi wasn't really trying but Naruto still got kicked in the chest and basically then actually stood back up on his own two feet and basically wiped off the blood of his, uh, out of his face and literally Naruto's bleeding already but it is what it is, it is against two S-rank shinobis of course Naruto knows that these two aren't going to be easy and he knows that these two hide things that he does he cannot even fathom of and literally then actually tries to use body flicker which he actually put his, oh, uh, sorry uh, the flying wall the flying thunder god uh of course the second kage's version and he actually put a seal on uh, <clears throat> you know kisame when he was actually fighting him and he has a resentment of course kisame gets hit by this and basically uh, then he gets pretty pissed and he actually attacks naruto all out but then naruto actually turns into a log after kisame sliced him in half and itachi was like hmm interesting this one knows how to fight and then out of nowhere Naruto actually comes behind him and Itachi dodges like a boss and then literally uh well uh grabs Naruto's face and pushes him into the well you know roof of the motel and says now you come with us and basically Naruto then says and the well then smiles and says <laughs> and uh, of course after this Naruto actually turns into lightning which actually paralyzes Itachi but once Naruto actually comes behind him with a kunai to actually stab him, stab him in the back of his neck to actually paralyze him right there he actually turns into crows which actually confuses Naruto but then Naruto sees a massive sword swinging at him and so he has to dodge of course then Naruto actually decided to, uh, <clears throat> to body flicker away and out of nowhere a guy with uh, of course Saki on his back and <clears throat> you know Jiraiya up here and basically after this uh, Itachi says they need to retreat there's no way they can fight all of them and it is what it is and of course uh, <clears throat> Jiraiya and uh, well a uh, guy actually joined Naruto in this fight and uh, <clears throat> now <clears throat> sorry of course the Akatsuki retreat anywho after this uh, Naruto and uh, well Jiraiya actually talk after saying goodbye to you know guy 
they talk about what just happened and Misa and Naruto tells Jiraiya that he got attacked he wasn't oh like he didn't do anything and he was the one to get attacked and yeah of course now Naruto well uh and Jiraiya actually continued their you know ex ex exhibition whatever their search for uh you know uh Tsunade and uh, of course they will find her and two days later on the night that they wanted to actually eat out well of course they're eating out for most of the trip since they can't cook uh, they don't have an actual proper kitchen but anyways of course uh <clears throat> now uh Naruto and uh well you know Jirai actually well find Tsunade and Jirai asks uh Tsunade and of course Tsunade actually badmouths all the Hokage which pisses off Naruto but Naruto keeping a cool head says excuse me miss uh you shouldn't really badmouth uh, the <clears throat> the unfortunate ones and basically Tsunade is like who might you be kid and basically then Naruto just smiles and says well I am Kakashi Hatake's son and basically uh <clears throat> Uh, Tsunade was like, <laughs> you're, you're trying to make me laugh, aren't you? And basically, of course, uh, this completely baffed Tsunade. She's like, wait, what? Kakashi has a son and he has blonde hair? That don't make sense. Allow that. Anywho, of course, uh, <clears throat> uh, Naruto is uh, Kakashi's adopted son. And, uh, well, Jirai actually tells that to, you know, Tsunade that he's not really his son. He's just, uh, he uh, was adopted by Kashi and then she's like, oh, huh, I guess he didn't get the looks from him. And basically, oh, I was wondering why he didn't get the looks from him. That's what I meant. Anywho, then Naruto kind of flinched. And then he's like, alright. Well, that was kind of rude. And uh, then Naruto actually lets out a bit of his bloodlust and says, um, could you repeat that please? And of course, Tsunade's like, huh, you're a strong one. And of course, <clears throat> now... And Naruto's like, how about we take this outside already? I'm pretty much pissed off because of you, old hag. And of course, uh, Tsunade's like, what'd you say to me? And, uh, what the fuck is Russian service? Sorry guys, I'm playing a game and I'm in Russian service again, what the hell? Anywho, of course, they actually go out now and they're about to start their little fight or quarrel. But, uh, anywho, of course, Naruto was pretty pissed about uh, Tsunade. Not only badmouthing all the Hokage, but uh, saying that about him... And of course, uh, he's uh, full on pissed. He's like, nah, bro, I ain't taking that. Why are you saying that to me? I did nothing. I was just sitting there. I was telling you not to badmouth the dead. Like, what the frick is wrong with you? And of course, now, of course, uh, Tsunade says, I'll beat you with one finger. And Naruto's like, oh, you, you're a cocky one, aren't you? And basically, of course, Tsunade's like, do you really think you can beat me, kid? And of course, Naruto's like, well, I wouldn't say I can't. And uh, then Tsunade's like, oh, really? So you do think you can beat me and basically Naruto's like, who knows, maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know, <laughs> I might be able to destroy you. And basically then Tsunade was like, oh, you cocky little brat. And of course now Naruto was actually pretty pissed that uh, Tsunade actually thinks so little of him. She doesn't actually understand that Naruto uh, is actually pretty strong. She can't really uh, feel it right now because she's actually drunk but of course... It is what it is. We all know that Tsunade is an alcoholic. But yeah. After this, uh, of course, Naruto. Uh, well, <clears throat> of course, Naruto uh, and Tsunade begin their fight. And yeah, Naruto actually begins by using Body Flicker, which actually kind of confuses, uh, <clears throat> well, you know, Tsunade. And uh, t at first, Tsunade is like, this kid can use Body Flicker. Interesting. And of course, Tsunade actually turns around to actually annihilate well you know naruto but it doesn't really work out like that because naruto is actually way too fast for tsunade to actually keep up with him especially because she's drunk maybe if she wasn't drunk she would have been able to keep up but it is what it is right now she is drunk and yeah anywho oh sorry sorry i had to stop the recording there i needed to go to the bathroom anywho uh now Naruto actually then body flickers away because Tsunade was actually getting one of his chakra points and yes Tsunade has memorized all the chakra points in the body and everyone actually has one similar one near enough the uh, stomach and of course uh, she was going she was trying to get that one off of Naruto so Naruto would have actually um, well lost a lot of, well <clears throat> lost a lot of his chakra control but of course Naruto backed up right in time because Naruto is not that stupid 
and he is pretty freaking smart uh, compared to other people of course anywho uh well compared to tsunade right now because she is drunk uh yes naruto is pretty freaking smart anywho and plus he's smart of, already because of uh you know him being trained by uh, kakashi of course now anywho <clears throat> and now naruto who actually backed up uh, then decides to actually of course uh, <clears throat> uh get close and personal and literally rasengan her in the stomach to actually pretty much annihilate her but it is what it is now after this of course uh naruto <clears throat> anywho after this uh <clears throat> So now the candle went flying and she was kind of confused on how Naruto did this and then basically Naruto gave the, the same smile that you know, her little brother and her, you know her lover gave and she was a uh, wait what and then uh, she was actually uh, she actually thought that she saw her lover and of course um, her little brother but of course it's not true it's actually Naruto Naruto took the opportunity to actually you know catch Tsunade off guard and literally just uh, Put a kunai up to her neck and uh tsunade was that we want and just saying tsunade was actually on the ground looking at naruto and uh naruto's that you see so do you want to come back to the village now and basically tsunade at first she was he hesitant and basically she's like <sighs> okay i'll become the fifth okage and here since there was no uh orochimaru thing that happened uh because of naruto actually being able to return tsunade to the village uh before the the whole quarrel happened with uh, Tsunade and uh, you know Orochimaru, uh, <clears throat> Naruto of course. Uh, well, Naruto and Jiraiya actually returned, and everyone was healed a week earlier. And here, the uh, Saki didn't really wanna uh, like you know, uh, <clears throat> kind of uh, be rude to Naruto or anything, but she still wanted to fight, and uh, she kind of got vexed. Like I'm not even gonna lie, she got really vexed. Uh, since Naruto didn't want to fight her and she was like fight me already man please what did I do man and like do you really think I'm that weak and of course uh Naruto's like of course I don't think you're weak it's just that you're injured currently I cannot fight you right now uh as of right now you're too injured to fight me there's no point it's unfair and basically Saki's like so you're saying I'm too weak right now and basically Naruto's like no and just saying uh of course right now they're talking as, as Sasuke and uh Naruto because Sakura is there of course Sakura being the fan girl but still is what it is now of course since Sakura has actually been training quite a bit as well remember she has been um, be, uh, she has been motivated by the two and is what it is now after this Naruto and the Saki well Saki kind of got way too vexed and so she actually uh, well dragged Naruto in, uh, up to the roof and of course she still uh, had the, the same kind of fight against Naruto as in the original and uh, yeah one second after this uh, <clears throat> Naruto and Jiraiya once they return oh well, sorry 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 uh, after this uh, I kind of got confused uh, since uh, Saki and Naruto actually started uh, you know their sparring uh, slash fight uh, fighting uh, since they're actually pretty much uh, fighting, Saki's not holding anything back, and Saki's actually controlled by bloodlust right now, and she is really bloodlusted right now. She's a like, nah, I cannot nah, I cannot allow Naruto to be uh, well. You know, she's kinda just like power hungry. She's like, no, nah, I need more power. If I can't beat Naruto, I cannot be my brother right now. But of course, uh, Naruto is a lot stronger than Saki, especially because Naruto has a. Uh, of course, uh, the you know Naruto's fox, and also he has multiple other techniques. For example, the Chidori, just like her, and also Naruto has a uh, Kakashi to train her, and all uh, all the other things that uh, Saki has. Uh, well, Naruto has, and the uh, Saki doesn't like a personal trainer, literally at home at all moments, and uh, that is really helpful to be honest. Like, if you think about it, imagine having a personal trainer at home. Literally, you'd, you'd always be strong, innit? Anywho, now, of course, Saki needs more power, and basically, she goes all out against Naruto, and, uh, of course, uh, it's, well, Sakura tries to stop it, because, in her eyes, it's literally Naruto versus Sasuke, her lover versus her teammate, and uh, she doesn't hate Naruto, but, of course, uh, she wants to, she wants 
to stop this and uh, she doesn't want her well you know her friends to get hurt but it is what it is she still tries to get in the way and kakashi arrives last second right before the two uh you know special moves are about to you know collide against each other and of course kakashi's are what are you two doing you shouldn't be fighting like this you understand and basically naruto then says it was just a friendly uh, uh sparring session and basically uh naruto is like it's it was no one it was nothing like a friendly sparring session naruto you don't understand you two may not have realized but if those two uh <clears throat> And techniques collided one of you might have died and of course saki then gets really angry and she said she's like god damn it and basically after this she just goes off and basically uh naruto's like what, what? and of course uh kakashi's like, i'm not sure what's going on but isn't she acting weird after she uh well after what happened and basically uh Kakashi doesn't really know what happened. He knows that Naruto got attacked and everything. And, uh, well, Saki, uh, you know, got annihilated by, you know, Itachi. Uh, but, of course, she doesn't actually, he doesn't actually know what as Itachi has said. And, uh, of course, Itachi did say that Saki is uh, a lot weaker than Naruto. And this is what actually, well, triggered uh, the uh, power hunger in uh, Saki. And, basically, Saki just wants to get stronger. She doesn't really... Uh, one power for just to show that she has power she just wants to get stronger because she knows that if she can't beat naruto she can't beat her brother that's what she thinks but it's not true because naruto eventually will get a lot stronger than uh, her older brother but his way is anywho now naruto uh, after this um, he actually follows saki and then of course uh, Nar uh, well sees that saki just uh, started training on her own and so he just leaves her alone and says Maybe she just needs some time and uh, basically after this, of course, Saki still, that night, she still uh, fat, well, got the visit by the sound for and uh, she actually accepted here. She accepted the offer to actually go and join Orochimaru's ranks and yeah, of course, now after actually leaving the, uh, you know, she still says goodbye to Sakura. She wants to say goodbye to Naruto, but she knows that if she actually goes to Naruto, um things will get complicated and naruto will definitely not allow her to leave the village and of course she leaves without telling him of course naruto uh just casually walks by from the, to, to the convenience store and sees sakura on the ground and sakura tells him everything of course after this naruto gets uh, extremely worried about saki and so he actually uh decides to go off on his own and tell sakura basically tell sakura to actually tell the hokage and naruto wants to go on uh, his own but, of course, uh, Sakura doesn't allow it. So it's just saying that there were multiple people outside the village. No, Naruto, don't go on your own. It's too dangerous. And basically, Naruto's like, do you not want me to bring back Sasuke? And, of course, Sa uh, Sakura's like, yeah, but it doesn't mean I want you to get hurt. And basically, Naruto then is like, oh, all right, let's go to the Hokage. Let's tell her first. And, of course, they actually went to the Hokage and uh, told uh, Tsunade. And basically, after this, Tsunade actually created, you know, the Sasuke retrieval team and uh, yeah now after uh, creating this team uh, of course <clears throat> uh well you know uh Tsunade actually well eh, well after creating the team uh Naruto and the rest actually uh went off on their own and uh actually uh <clears throat> you know uh went to find Sasuke but of course they couldn't find uh, him uh well her since it is Saki, but it is what it is now. After this, uh, Naruto, of course, uh, well, Naruto actually makes a big breakthrough because of his sensory abilities and he's able to lead them the right way. And they actually get on their tail. And after this, basically, they were really happy that they're finally, uh, well, catching up or something. And basically, after this, Jirobo, I'm just saying, it's already been near enough, uh, uh near, near enough the time that. Uh, Sa Saki was meant to wake up after getting her curse mark too and it is what it is now after this Naruto and, uh, and the rest actually get trapped into the, in the you know uh, <clears throat> Earth Dome by Jirobo and basically uh, this is what triggered Naruto and he's like god damn it get out of our way and basically uh, well Choji was gonna do on his own remember Choji was trained by uh, well Kakashi as well so he is uh he he is basically reliable uh, here unlike before how they had to find some buku way out and he is where he is and uh, yeah after this uh 
and Naruto actually uh, goes all out and literally uh, does his uh, little uh, Chidori into the <clears throat> you know so Earth Dome and literally destroys the Earth Dome and uh, um, after this uh, Naruto and uh, well actually wants to fight Jirobo on his own but then Choji says no guys you guys go ahead or we'll lose Saki and basically uh, sh uh, well Neji's that uh, Saki and basically uh, then uh, <clears throat> Choji's that I meant uh, I mean Sasuke and basically uh, Shikamaru's that alright Choji we trust in you understood and basically Choji's that don't don't worry I got this and basically uh, right before they left Shikamaru told uh, Choji not to use uh, you know uh, the thing that uh, he would usually use you know well he's he knows what Choji is uh, thinking of and he doesn't want Choji to do it he doesn't want Choji to actually go through that uh, danger he's, like literally he doesn't it's an instant kill for Choji and Jirobo if he uses the red pill. But it is what it is. You know, now, of course, Choji does his little fight. Of course, goes into his butterfly mode. And <laughs> butterfly mode. And literally annihilates. Uh, and shreds Jirobo. But during this time, Tayuya still was the second fighter. And uh, basically, Shikamaru still stayed back to fight Tayuya. And that wasn't going to be easy. It wasn't going to be easy at all, to be honest. None of the fights were going to be easy. And, of course, after this, uh, <clears throat> uh, it was Kidomaru and Neji stayed for Kidomaru. And I'm pretty sure uh, Sakan and Ukon were taken by, uh, taking care of, uh, you know, Kiba. Of course, after Kiba, uh, Naruto went off on his own. And he knows that he's literally, uh, well, putting the life of his friends up for literally, uh, well, he's actually putting them in danger uh, just for one person and he knows that this is this shouldn't really happen but of course uh, they all actually accepted the mission on, on their own accord uh, well according to their own uh, wills uh, well they, they were willing to actually do this mission so technically in order to enforce anything on them or anything but he still is worried about his teammates he doesn't want them to get injured or anything uh, like that so he actually, uh, well, well, he, he doesn't want them to get injured. That's all I'm, uh, all I'm gonna say. But of, of course, now Naruto still uh, <clears throat> uh, gets to uh, Saki and catches up to her until a uh, he actually sees a field where there was another person standing, and basically, uh, the person just nods at Saki, and Saki just goes past. And basically, right before she went past, she looks back at Naruto and crying. She says, "I'm sorry, Naruto," and literally. What she does is that she actually creates a, uh, well, you know, a <clears throat> fireball jutsu to actually hit Naruto with it. But of course, it doesn't really hit Naruto. He actually just, uh, well, Naruto was able to dodge most of it. But of course, it still hurt the little bits. Uh, the little bit that actually hit him, it still hurt like a bitch. Anywho, of course, now Naruto uh, was left to actually deal with. Kidomaru and Kidomaru wasn't going to be an easy fight. Uh, I mean, sorry, Kimimaru and Kimimaru ain't no easy fight. Remember, Kimimaru is literally the. Sh oh, he was Kage level according to you know <coughs> Orochimaru, and he actually wanted Kimimaru's body in the first place. But Kimimaru, according to uh, so uh, well, according to that manga and anime, he had an illness where he was going to die anyway. So we never really got to see Kidom no, Kimimaru's true abilities uh, except for the war arc where he was a reanimation and remember those reanimations may have been buffed a bit but apparently they were actually nerfed uh well for example one example that we could see was uh you know hashirama and there's no way hashirama could have been that weak in the war arc but it is what it is now uh anywho after this uh, <clears throat> naruto actually begins to fight kimimaru uh with all he's got and literally um, <clears throat> Naruto is using shadow phones, he's using all, all the techniques he's got. He even uses the lightning cable, which is actually a pretty freaking OP technique. He's literally one of his clones and himself uh, just uh, creating a Chidori, and the Chidori is connected. And once he actually hits someone, oh well, uh, in the middle of the lightning cable, they actually get paralyzed. Of course, uh, Kidoma uh, Kimimaru actually was able to protect his, uh, his uh, uh, well, upper body that was actually about to get hit, or the stomach area that was about to get hit by bones and uh, that was the only thing that protected him from the paralyzation and then uh, <clears throat> he actually blitzed Naruto and was about to stab Naruto in the arm and uh, once well he was about to but Naruto body flickered away but 
uh, the same time Kimimaru was actually ready for this and literally 360 with another bone and uh, literally stabbed Naruto in the chest right in the middle of the chest and Naruto sp uh, literally spout blood uh, literally vomited out blood and it is pretty uh, graphic I'm sorry guys I don't really put any well, warnings because uh, sorry <laughs> I've come this really anywho now Naruto uh, of course uh, on the ground uh, while bleeding he actually decided oh uh, well he wants to stand back up but it was just too hard for naruto but out of nowhere the nine toes then like is that really all you got naruto zumaki and basically after this naruto's like you shut up you damned fox and literally naruto takes out the you know uh, bone and literally blitzes uh you know kimimaru and uh, after this naruto actually uh, knees Kimimaru in the face and uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, after uh, he actually uses a Rasengan uh, to actually finish off Kimimaru from what he's seen but of course then after the smoke cleared he sees Kimimaru in his curse mark two state or oh, curse mark one state uh, and Naruto saw Kimimaru in curse mark one Kimimaru blitzed Naruto until out of nowhere a kick to Kimimaru's face uh, came by a uh, <clears throat> Lee, a new fully healed Lee, and uh, of course, not Lee then uh, puts a thumb up, thumbs up, and Naruto un uh, understood, understands, and uh, not understood. Uh, uh, basically, uh, after this, Naruto actually leaves, and uh, he says, "You better not die on me, Lee." And Lee just says, "The power of you shall be on my side." And anywho, anywho, now. Uh, Naruto actually uh, goes full speed, losing blood, but it is what it is. Naruto cannot, uh, like, he's not a healer or anything, so he has to deal with it. And now, after this, Naruto and uh, <clears throat> Saki actually stop, both of them stop. And basically, Saki says, Naruto, are you okay? And basically, Naruto's like, Saki, I don't think you can really say that because you, it's pretty much your fault. And basically, laughs it off and basically then says, Of course, I'm okay. I've had worse and basically Saki knows that Naruto's just bluffing. This is pretty much one of the worst injuries Naruto has ever gotten. But still, uh, Saki can't really do anything about it. Right now, they're enemies and basically not. And Saki then says, Naruto, please, just stop this. There's no point of going through this. Just go back to the village, I beg you. And basically, of course, as uh, she says this, Naruto then uh, actually explains that he cannot go back to the village without her. And he will not go back. Uh, he was with the team. His team actually stayed back just uh, to fight each one of those sand four and kimimaru uh, just to allow him to come and get her and basically saki then says just why are you guys doing this i don't deserve all of this just go back please naruto and of course naruto then says sharp and come back already and literally tries to blitz her but naruto even at his top speed right now Saki can see him with her three Tomo Sharingan. Yes, she actually unlocked the three Tomo Sharingan by now. And remember, it's a near death situation which actually allowed him to unlock the three Tomo Sharingan as well. Remember, as Sasuke said in Boruto right now, that uh, you have to go through a traumatic experience to actually unlock the uh, next Tomoe for the Sharingan. And yeah, anywho, after this, Naruto actually. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, tries to blitz away but well not blitz away body flicker away but of course Saki actually gets him with a fireball jutsu which was actually way too fast for Naruto to even understand what was going on and basically after this after getting hit by that Naruto barely can stand up and literally uh, he's realizing that he's really exhausted and so he actually decides to use <clears throat> his lightning uh, uh, release to actually electrocute uh, Saki to an extent where she's paralyzed because remember Naruto uh, Naruto, they're actually fighting on water right now and so Naruto can use the water to his advantage to actually paralyze Saki and yeah after this of course Naruto tries it but Saki was actually able to um, dodge this and uh, yeah now Naruto realized that he's really in trouble and Saki actually creates a massive fireball jutsu uh, which is heading right towards Naruto and Naruto realizes that he needs to somehow get rid of this and so he actually does the water dragon jutsu to, uh, which goes through the fireball and comes out of uh, the other side of the fireball and Saki realizes that she's about to get hit by this and after the smoke clears and Saki gets hit by this out of nowhere Naruto sees 
a beam that does not look like Saki at all and it's actually Curse Mob 2 Saki which is uh, something completely different from the true the real Saki which Naruto knows and yeah this is kind of confusing for Naruto because Naruto cannot recognize who this is and uh, the only reason that is because Curse Mob 2 really changes uh, you know Sasuke well Saki like even in the original Sasuke changed quite a lot especially because he got wings out of nowhere after uh, going into Curse Mob 2 but it is what it is now Naruto of course <clears throat> after uh, using oh well or pretty much all of his chakra that he had remaining uh, realizes that he's in trouble and he has one only one course of action and so he actually tells the whole uh, nine toes to give him strength and basically Naruto is pretty pissed right now especially because he realizes that he's weak he can't do anything against Saki right now to actually bring her back and basically the nine toes like I thought you said you'll never use my strength and basically Naruto is like just give it to me already and uh, okay that was kind of weird but of course Naruto is like just give me your chakra already you damned fox and of course now uh, the nine toes fox just plays around with Naruto and to make him even more angry and after this uh, and the Nantos actually takes this opportunity to actually make Naruto angry and so he actually takes control of Naruto and yeah after this uh, Naruto actually lost fully co full control of his body and all of his control was gone and yeah and the Nantos was taken over and uh, yeah after this I'm saying yeah too many times after this Naruto who is now in his uh, you know Two tails form, well, I mean one tails form, uh, actually decides to uh, go and attack Saki full full throttle. Literally goes all out, all of his power pointing to this attack. And yeah, Naruto and uh, Saki actually start fighting for real. And Saki realizes what kind of strength Naruto is using. Naruto is using the nine tails' power, which she hasn't really seen much uh, around. Well. Because uh, she only seen it once and it was pretty scary, but this time Naruto is letting a lot more out and uh, The more and more they fight Naruto is getting stronger and stronger and she realizes that uh, <clears throat> You know uh, You know uh, her actual uh, uh, Naruto, well, Naruto's wounds were actually getting healed somehow and uh, That was really confusing for Osaki, but it is what it is the only reason that is because we uh, we actually know why Naruto's wounds were actually healing and that's because of you know nine toes fox and yeah it is what it is now after this uh, naruto and saki well of course continue their little fight <laughs> well i say little it is pretty freaking big the fight and anywho uh saki actually decides to create an even bigger fireball jutsu to actually attack naruto with it and then out of nowhere uh, naruto actually creates a, a a red water dragon jutsu you look like blood to be honest but Saki knew it was just uh, Naruto's chakra right now and uh, literally engulfs literally he just opens his mouth eats the fireball up and then he goes off on its own and attacks Su uh, Saki anywho uh, Saki realizes that she's about to get hit by this so she tries to fly up but Naruto's uh, the full water dragon actually goes around her and literally starts uh, well heading towards her but Saki actually uses this uh, uh well this opportunity to actually electrocute the uh, water dragon uh, jutsu and the dragon actually became all of her uh, well of course became a conductor of electricity uh, remember water is a conductor of electricity i'm pretty sure all of you know that if you don't well you learn something new from a youtube channel but as well as uh, now naruto of course uh, <clears throat> uh sorry one second Anywho, the water dragon jutsu became electricity and he went all around the back to Naruto, the actual caster, because the, the water dragon was actually coming through uh, or from Naruto's uh, well, feet, because Naruto's feet were actually over the water and we see Naruto got electrocuted, which actually hurt Naruto and uh, he lost a lot of power from that. And basically, Saki actually decided to blitz Naruto, which Naruto actually had his guard down and literally just stabbed Naruto in the chest with her Chidori, just like what happened to Rin with Kakashi and Saki with tears in her eyes. And just saying, this is just normal Saki. Uh, Naruto, uh, Saki was uh, uh, actually able to just penetrate the Nantos as a, you know, chalk cloak. And uh, basically, now after this, Naruto, who actually has uh, been well, stabbed 
in the chest which actually hurt Naruto quite a bit uh, realized that he's lost and basically uh, he doesn't want to give up but of course Saki just uh, uh, karate chops him uh, on the back of the neck just to end his uh, you know pain and suffering and uh, after this uh, <clears throat> uh, Saki of course uh, uh, leaves and uh, finds Kabuto around the forest and uh, she actually went to Orochimaru of course the Naruto is found by uh, you know Kakashi and last remaining bit of uh, the night was the chakra actually healed up Naruto but Kakashi could see multiple holes in Naruto's uh, well, clothing and he realized that something must have happened and once he actually arrived he actually saw a bit of the night was the chakra actually depleting and uh, he realized that Naruto must have used the Naruto's, uh, you know, uh, chakra once again against Saki uh, because she was too strong for him or something. He doesn't really understand why he did it, but it is what it is. Uh, if he was a dire need, Naruto must have done it for a good reason. He knows that uh, he knows his son really well, uh, and he doesn't believe Naruto would use it just as a for, as for a whim. But anyway, after this, Naruto, of course, sir. Uh, of course Naruto is taken back to the village and all the other guys are actually helped out by you know uh, the sand trio and uh, reinforcements from the leaf actually arrived and Naruto then woke up and basically of course uh, Naruto woke up next to uh, both uh, you know uh, Jiraiya and uh, you know Kakashi and uh, Jiraiya actually gave uh, well Naruto had the same uh, you know uh, conversation with Jiraiya of course so Kakashi was just listening and here Jiraiya says Sasuke instead of Saki because he actually knows that Sa uh, he doesn't know that Saki is actually Sasuke and Sasuke is Saki but his way is uh, he doesn't want to know that Sasuke is a woman or a female by his ways and they have this conversation thank you for uh, letting me use this word beyond uh, fiction and I'll roll the clip now forget about Sasuke he's gone Sasuke went to Orochimaru of his own free will. No matter what you do, you will not change. But Sasuke is... Trust me, you should just forget about bringing him back. It's the tragic path of self-righteous fools. He may mean nothing to you, pervy sage, but Sasuke is my friend! Can you honestly call him a friend? Just look at what he's done to you. It's... He was destined to leave sooner or later. Don't blame yourself. Dismiss him from your mind and move on. To be a ninja, you need more than strength and jutsu. You must acquire the judgment to make the right decisions. If you want to live as a ninja, you must become smarter. This world is no place for a fool. That's the reality. I understand. Being smarter means what you say it does. I'll remain a fool my entire life. After this conversation, of course, Jiraiya brought up the, the uh, two and a half year training. And since uh, Kakashi really had no one to teach right now, Sakura has actually become uh, Tsunade's new student. And uh, of course, Kakashi actually decides to go with Naruto to actually learn a, new, a few new things and of course uh, here now uh, Naruto accepts straight away especially if it's actually to get stronger to actually uh, well bring back Saki uh, he's going to do it any day but his ways after this Naruto of course left with the Jiraiya and Kakashi and his two friends pretty much uh, well you know Choji, Shikamaru and even Akiba and Neji and Shino actually came uh, to say goodbye and Lee as well because remember all the boys are pretty much friends now especially after that mission and yeah of course Naruto uh, was going to leave with Kakashi and they were going to lose a lot of uh, fire power well you know military power the you know the Lee village was going to lose a ton of power especially because Naruto the powerhouse and the Kakashi or a powerhouse which was interesting Kakashi actually was just as strong as uh, you know Tsunade uh, you know that we all know that and basically after this Naruto of course uh, decided to actually learn um, 
well, continue his training in developing those Sengon and uh, into a Rasen Shuriken. And here, even Kakashi uh, uh, actually finds out something new about his eye. He actually realizes that he has a Mongeki Sharingan by actually training with Naruto, that he actually got pushed to a, to a, a, well, to a certain extent that he actually awoke from the world. He actually activated the Mongeki Sharingan out of instincts of protection, of trying to protect himself and basically. Of course, uh, that was really confusing for Naruto, and basically, Naruto's there, what is this father, and basically, uh, even uh, Kakashi doesn't know how to explain this phenomenon, because he doesn't know what he is, and, uh, anywho, after this, basically, Naruto, and Kakashi, and Jiraiya, uh, keep the, continue, continue the training, and, yeah, uh, of course, Naruto, uh, actually, uh, <clears throat> uh, now, actually, uh, well, uh, is actually learning how to become a seal master and he actually learned the flying rajin uh, during this time and just saying it's only been two years and naruto still has six months and basically kakashi and naruto actually now uh well well naruto well kakashi is actually asked to return to the village as soon as possible because they need more you know uh, power and basically now naruto actually decides to stay with uh, jiraiya and uh, after this uh, naruto and uh, jiraiya actually uh, well, return well to their training together, and yeah, of course, uh, this this is going to be quite uh, different for, since you know Naruto and Jiraiya actually trained with Kakashi for literally two years, and now Kakashi's gone. And so sorry, guys, I'm kind of sleepy. It's 12 a.m. I'm still recording. I still need to record uh, around like 20 minutes, but his ways. It's all for you guys. Anywho, now uh, Naruto actually, uh, well, <clears throat> Naruto now actually, of course, uh, uh, leaves uh, with the uh, uh, well Jiraiya because they actually accompanied uh, Kakashi near the village, and Naruto actually decides to actually ask uh, Jiraiya if he can actually teach him something. And uh, Naruto actually found about found out about this uh, from a few books that he's read about Jiraiya yesterday, like uh, some kind of biography and things. Hello, guys. Anywho, now uh, Naruto actually read these and he found out that Jiraiya actually has, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, sage mode, and he was curious on what sage mode was. Anywho, uh, <clears throat> Naruto of course asked about this and he's like, "What is sage mode?" And basically. Of course, uh, Jiraiya then went off, then went on to explain what Sage Mode is for the next hour, and yeah, during this time, Naruto actually was intrigued by the Sage Mode that Jiraiya actually learned, and Naruto really wanted to learn it, and so Jiraiya said, like, "It's really easy. Well, it's not going to be easy for you to learn it since it took me a, a long while, and I st to this day, I still don't have it." Master and BC and Naruto said, like, "Well, we can master it together then," and BC Jiraiya thinks about it, and so, hmm. Well, let's see. We have six months. If you, if I took around like seven months to do this one, I'm pretty sure since you are pretty smart and far a fast learner, I'm pretty sure you can do it. And basically, Naruto that like, yeah, of course I can do it if you're training me. And of course now, Naruto and uh, Jiraiya actually uh go to go to Mount Miyoboku and of course after this uh actually, actually after returning to Mount Miyoboku. Well, uh, after Jiraiya returning to Mount Miyoboku after so much time, uh, the uh, Toads are pretty happy to see uh, Jiraiya. Even Naruto recognizes uh, like Gamakichi, uh, his brother, and of course Gamabinta, but he doesn't know anyone else. And so then Naruto actually spends the next six months training in Sage mode, and he becomes a perfect Sage. And also he learns how to flow, throw his Rasen Shuriken, and he learns a few new techniques. For example, the Toad Oil Rasen Shuriken, the uh, Toad Oil Rasen. The Toad Oil Scorching Rasen Shuriken, which is actually a Toad Oil uh, Rasen Shuriken, and basically not actually ignites it. Yes, ignites a big word right there. Ignites the Rasen Shuriken with fire with, from, uh, of course, uh, himself. To and of course, the fire is actually pretty freaking strong, especially because uh, it's uh, well, the Toad Oil was literally it's uh, <clears throat> you know, combust. Well, it's a few, anywho, of course, uh, during this time. Saki actually went through uh, a few modifications to her body, for example, getting Hashirama cells and uh, uh, <clears throat> just enough not to get a face on her chest. And literally, uh, then after this, of course, she actually learned how to use Sage Mode. And also, 
um, Saki went off to actually train on the siege mode her, uh, in her own siege mode literally she went off uh, by herself and uh, she trained uh, in sage mode and literally uh, she actually mastered the snake sage mode uh, because she actually uh, uh, she actually read in some of Orochimaru's books about uh, Jiraiya that Jiraiya has sage mode some kind of technique that is so OP apparently according to uh, uh, Orochimaru himself and that is the, uh, one of the reason why Orochimaru uh, well Jiraiya is the strongest uh, <clears throat> you know uh, <clears throat> the strongest out of the three uh, out of the three so she actually learned the <clears throat> you know sage mode the snake sage mode but it is what it is now of course Saki is pretty freaking overpowered and anyways now of course uh, Saki had been killing multiple people or a thousand people every day which she really doesn't like doing because remember Saki is a kind-hearted woman she doesn't really want to kill and she is just doing this uh, to get more strength to actually uh, get as strong as possible to actually fight her brother in the future and uh, she knows that she's not going to get any answers out of him unless she actually fights him and it is where it is now of course after this uh, uh, six months have passed and Naruto actually returns to the village and of course he actually tells the belter it takes the beltist again and so and this time since Naruto and uh, you know Naruto has you know, gotten even stronger from the last time Kakashi has seen him and the Naruto is pretty much pain up plus level right now and uh, to be honest he's not going to show any of his uh, true strengths but it is what it is now Naruto could pretty much solo the Akatsuki right currently uh, not the whole Akatsuki if the Akatsuki decided to fight together Naruto would have no chance but one by one Naruto really would annihilate the whole entire Akatsuki anyways after this Naruto actually uh, <clears throat> uh well Naruto and Sakura actually uh <clears throat> take the belt test again and uh, yeah of course uh, the the belt test goes really well for them they, they were able to get the uh, bells easily uh from Kashi and yeah after this uh, Naruto and uh, <clears throat> Sakura actually decided to uh well uh, actually hang out for a while and uh, after this the, uh, they actually went home and yeah uh the next day naruto's woken up by a knock at the door and uh of course they're actually told about garo's capture and basically naruto was pretty freaking pissed that the akatsuki will actually start moving and they got garo first but he was a sage right now and no one really knows about naruto being a sage and he added one plus one and he came up with two and realized that if Garo was the one chosen, and they went off to capture him first, there must be a reasoning behind this. Maybe uh, there the, there is a reasoning behind this, and we all know the true reason why they do this. And it's because they cannot uh, capture all the tail beasts. Oh, well, they could they could capture all of them at once, but it's pretty freaking hard, especially because they are around the whole entire freaking world. But still, oh well, the five nations. But it is what it is now. Naruto and uh, well. Sakura and Kakashi actually go off on their own to actually go and uh, uh, f <clears throat> well save Gar of course but of course here N uh, Naruto is pretty freaking pissed and so he actually blitzes on before them and uh, of course uh, so <clears throat> Kakashi says no Naruto and uh, basically Naruto actually slowed down because he realized yeah, he went too far and basically uh, Kakashi said no Naruto you cannot go alone you never know you never know the Akatsuki are under after you as well and basically then Naruto explains that he's not that weak and he uh, fa uh well he's that I'm not that weak father and basically uh, uh well Kakashi then goes on to say that uh, he clearly knows that Naruto is not weak at all in fact he he's pretty much second to none right now especially because uh <clears throat> he uh well Kakashi is actually one of the people who know that who knows that uh Naruto actually has sage mode and uh, it's kind of freaking OP uh, he knows how uh, overpowered sage mode is but is what is now Naruto who <clears throat> has been uh, freaking uh, uh, vexing over not being able to go as fast as he wants to you know uh, find Gara uh, <laughs> but still uh, he they finally arrived to the you know sand village and uh, of course uh, Sakura takes a, few, uh, a day to actually create the antidote to the poison and yeah 
Here, the things go really different. Naruto actually, this time, he doesn't listen to anything Kakashi says and blitzes onwards on his own, even though Chi was there. And uh, he actually arrives uh, to the hideout a day before uh, Gara's, uh, uh, well, you know, finished, literally. Uh, Naruto actually arrives a day before Gara gets uh, fully, well, you know, the one toes gets fully sealed and i'll say that gara only has a third of the one, uh, one toes remaining and um it is uh, a lot uh, still a lot of charcoal still but still it's not as much as a uh, gara would have had in the well had at the beginning but it is where it is now naruto who has been uh well you know uh <clears throat> wanting to uh, go save gara actually breaks into the hook uh, well not the hokage the <clears throat> Akatsuki hideout and uh, literally says where's Gara and literally uh, blitzes past the two before they could even react and takes Gara away and uh, stops the ritual of course the eye is pretty much open and you just wanted more and more of the well, the, the full one toes but of course Naruto didn't allow it because he actually saved Gara and yeah after this Naruto of course uh, uh, <clears throat> went off on his own to uh, 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 well fight well he actually went off on his own to actually Put Gara, uh, well, return Gara to the sand, and then he actually, uh, well, of course, <clears throat> uh, again, <laughs> went off on his own to uh, fight the two Akatsuki members, which were actually coming towards him. And basically, Naruto gave Gara to uh, Sakura and basically told them to go uh, back to the uh, sand village and he'll take care of the two Akatsuki members. But of course, uh, Kakashi then says, You two go, uh, I'll go with my uh, uh, son, and basically. Uh, Sakura now knows that uh, Naruto is Kakashi's son by now and yeah after this basically Naruto and uh, well you know Naruto and Kakashi actually uh, fight the two and Kakashi was actually able to um, you know calmly uh, Sasori's heart away while uh, well you know Sasori's yeah Sasori heart, Sasori's heart I was gonna say wait is it called heart is it called heart I was kind of confused but it is what it is now and uh, Naruto was able to annihilate Deidara with the Rasen Shuriken, which actually destroyed the whole entire hideout. And yeah, and here after this, uh, Naruto and uh, the rest actually. Uh, anywho, uh, once the, they actually reunite, Gara actually is really grateful to Naruto for saving his life, and uh, she actually changes the opinion on the leaf and the, the sand villages, and uh, she realizes that the new generation is uh, something to be looked up to since they're going to be the ones to actually uh, create a better world in the future by his ways anywho now when Naruto actually returns of course uh, um, here uh, he still got the you know um, information about Sasuke I mean Saki and anywho after this uh, of course Gar well, Naruto, Sakura and uh, uh, Yamato and <clears throat> Yamato and the uh, thing Kakashi went to or you know the meeting place and Naruto kind of went berserk as usual and Yamato had to stop it and uh, even though Naruto was really really uh, like uh, calm minded oh uh, well one second calm minded anywho now of course uh, I forgot to mention Sai as usual because I'm an idiot I'm sorry guys uh, anywho uh, of course, Sai still follows Orochimaru and Kabuto uh, as a spy. Well, of course, as a traitor, but it is what it is. And of course, Saki uh, finds out that Sai actually found out where her room is. And of course, she uh, creates a crater in the freaking, you know, I don't Anywho, of course, Sai is pretty like, oh, holy damn, I'm about to die. But still, anywho, uh, now. <clears throat> But of course, Naruto and the rest actually arrive, and basically Saki actually widens her eyes to see Naruto, and she was really happy. But then Naruto then shouts out, uh, well, to Saki, and basically says, "Saki, just return." And basically, uh, Sakura at this point was just confused, but of course Naruto didn't want to tell her right now. She, he was too concentrated concentrated into Saki. But of course, Saki still does the same thing as uh, Sasuke did to actually. Uh, Make, uh, she wants Naruto to forget about him because she doesn't want uh, Naruto to go through any more, you know, pain because of her. She knows that she is inflicting pain on uh, <clears throat> Naruto while, uh, you know, 
uh, she's away from the village and uh, she knows that herself so she wants Naruto to forget about her completely but of course Naruto cannot Naruto cannot get her out of his mind at any moment but still anywho now that Naruto is pretty much well uh, pissed off that uh, Orochimaru has Saki literally in in his grasps uh, literally wants to kill Orochimaru but still they all retreat and uh, Naruto is left behind and he's like god damn it Saki why are you doing this and of course now after this once they return once team 7 actually returns they get the news about Asuma and Naruto's like what and of course realizes that uh, Shikamaru and Choji must be literally heartbroken and of course he actually goes to see Shikamaru and he sees Shikamaru smoking and then Naruto actually just uh, creates a water wall around him and uh, literally uh, well you know wets the whole entire cigarette and basically Naruto's like you shouldn't be doing this uh, Shikamaru you mu you know better than this he understood and of course uh, Shikamaru's like, Naruto please just leave me alone and then Naruto then says listen I know you're Oh wow, well, I know I, had, I can't say I can't really say how you feel, but I understand that you have lost someone precious to you, but you cannot <clears throat> inflict pain on yourself after losing someone else that you loved. You know that they will just be sad for you. You'll just inflict pain even though they're dead. <clears throat> and basically, then uh, Shikmar then says, "No, to you would understand." And then Naruto's that that is why I'm trying to stop you. You wouldn't understand how I felt when I lost Saki, would you? And basically Naruto, uh, then Ashikamaru's that like, Naruto, please just leave me alone. And basically Naruto's that like, if you want to get revenge, you should. After all, the Akatsuki don't really deserve to live after all the things they've been trying to do. And, I, and plus, I have a grudge against them anyway. So, how about we team up and basically uh Shikamaru just looks at Naruto and he's like wait what do you mean that and basically Naruto then smiles and says of course I'll help you out in any way I can and of course uh that's where I'm gonna end off I know it wasn't an hour but the next part has to be an hour because I want to end it with an hour part anywho hope you all enjoyed it please take a stay safe it is 1 or 2 a.m and I want to go sleep I'm so sorry guys I'm too tired anywho Peace guys, this is King of Weebs here, uh, don't forget to subscribe to Retreat, Mini Man 23 and also don't forget to subscribe to Kazama and uh, follow Shogun on Instagram, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and join my Discord server, in links are in the description below and peace.